Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss yet another important problem from uh, Lagrange's mean value theorem, right? So here uh, once again uh, we'll see an important application of Lagrange's mean value theorem uh, in proving uh, some important inequalities, right? So let us start. In this lecture, uh, we are going to discuss uh, this inequality uh, in which we have to prove that uh, x divided by 1 plus x square uh, is less than tan inverse of x and which is further less than x for x greater than 0, right? So here I uh, will prove this inequality uh, by making use of uh, Lagrange's mean value theorem, right? So let us uh, quickly see the uh, statement of Lagrange's mean value theorem. Now suppose uh, we have a function say y is equal to uh, f of x, right? So we have a function uh, which is defined in some uh, interval uh, that is a comma b, right? So Lagrange's mean value theorem, uh, it says that if this function uh, y is equal to f of x is continuous in the interval uh, a comma b and this function is also uh, differentiable or derivable uh, in the interval uh, a comma b uh, then uh, we must have some point x is equal to c uh, which lies between a and b right such that the derivative of this function f of x at this point that is c uh, should be equal to f of b minus f of a uh, divided by b minus a right so this is the statement of lagrange's mean value theorem so here i will apply uh, this uh, theorem uh, to the function and uh, that is y is equal to uh, f of x is equal to tan inverse x, right? So we'll apply uh, this theorem to this function and we'll see how we can uh, arrive at this inequality by using the conditions of Lagrange's mean value theorem. So here uh, we have assumed uh, an appropriate function that is f of x is equal to tan inverse x right and uh, we are taking x greater than 0 right so now uh, we know that uh, this function uh, tan inverse x uh, is continuous uh, in the interval uh, that is uh, uh, 0 to x right so here I will take the interval uh, 0 to x so that the value of a is 0 and b is x, right? And x is greater than 0, right? So this function, this inverse trigonometric function uh, is continuous in this interval 0 comma x and moreover, uh, the derivative that is f prime of x, uh, which is 1 over 1 plus x square because the derivative of tan inverse x is 1 over 1 plus x square and this derivative exists uh, for all values of x uh, in the interval uh, 0 comma x, right? So this function uh, tan inverse x is continuous in this interval and this is uh, having a valid derivative uh, in the interval open interval 0 comma x where x is greater than 0, right? So Lagrange's mean value theorem says that there must exist uh, some point x is equal to c uh, which lies uh, between 0 and x. That is the c is greater than 0 but it is less than x, right? Such that f prime of c, that is f prime of c is equal to f of b. So f of b is f of x minus f of 0 because f of a is f of 0 and here we have b minus a so this is x minus 0 right so we have f of x minus now see f of 0 
So f of 0 can be uh, obtained by taking x is equal to 0 in this function. So we have tan inverse of 0 that is simply 0, right? So here we have 0 and here we have x. x minus 0 is x. So we have simply f of x divided by x. So this is f of x is tan inverse x. So we have tan inverse x divided by x, right? So we have obtained an important uh, equation that is f prime of c is equal to tan inverse x over x where x is greater than uh, 0 right so now we have uh, this equation right okay now see f prime of x is equal to 1 over 1 plus x square so f prime of c is equal to uh, 1 over 1 plus c square because uh, we'll replace x by uh, c right so this uh, uh, expression can be written as 1 over 1 plus c square is equal to uh, tan inverse x uh, divided by x right where this c uh, it lies between 0 and x so now we have uh, this expression right and we'll uh, proceed uh, from this uh, expression uh, to arrive at this result right so now uh, what we will do uh, let us first uh, consider this inequality right so we have zero uh, that is less than c and uh, here we have x right now if we uh, take the square of all quantities then we have zero square is zero and here we have c square and here we have x square right so uh, here uh, C is obviously uh, a positive quantity, right? So now uh, let us add 1 uh, throughout this inequality. So we'll get 1 plus 0. Here we have 1 plus C square. And here we have 1 plus X square, right? So we have 1 plus 0 is 1. Here we have 1 plus C square. And here we have 1 plus X square right so now we have this inequality now what we will do now see here we require 1 over 1 plus c square so what we will do we'll uh, take the reciprocal of all the terms uh, that is all the three terms right so taking the reciprocal of all these uh, three terms uh, we have the inequality 1 uh, greater than see when we take the uh, reciprocal uh, on both sides then the direction of the inequality gets uh, reversed right for example uh, see if we have p greater than q and if we take the reciprocal of both sides then we have 1 over p uh, is less than 1 over q right provided p and q are positive quantities right so here we have 1 greater than uh, 1 over 1 plus c square and here we have 1 over 1 plus uh, x square, right? Now let us rearrange this inequality, right? So what we have, we have 1 over 1 plus x square, which is less than 1 over 1 plus c square, which is further less than 1, right? Now uh, we can uh, substitute the value of 1 over 1 plus c square as 10 inverse x over x over here. So we have 1 over 1 plus x square and here we have tan inverse x divided by x and this is uh, less than 1, right? Now see, uh, let us uh, uh, multiply throughout by x, right? And here x is greater than 0 and x is a positive quantity. So we can easily uh, multiply throughout this inequality by uh, this quantity x uh, without changing the direction of the inequality right so we have x because uh, multiplying this quantity by x we have x over 1 plus x square and here x uh, and x get cancelled so we have tan inverse x and here we have x times 1 that is simply x and which is the uh, desired inequality right so this we have to uh, prove, right?